What's up, everybody? Welcome to Soul Gambler, a game that I have not tried yet. It looks interesting. It looks like a choose-your-own-adventure kind of deal. I'm not really sure. Uh, this was donated by Snipe Gizmo, so thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate it. And let's just jump right... In. Well, I mean, I guess we'll jump right into it. Preface. Before face. After face. In my life, nothing has ever happened. Yeah. Nothing has ever changed. All days look exactly the same. Wait, wait, wait. I used to think I would graduate and get an exciting job for a big company, but I ended up settling on the first depressing office I accepted. <laughs> After all, no matter how mediocre. God is depressing! I thought this was gonna be a fun game. It might be. Fost! Fost. What's the status of the reports? Finishing them. It should be ready. We want to think later in the afternoon. An HR employee, employee will come to perform an assessment on you. I spent the afternoon dawdling, pretending that it mattered finish to me finishing my work. Then the HR employee arrived. I wasn't excited at all, so I didn't have any excuse nor not to finish those damn reports. Hi, you are Foss, right? No, the one and only. Could you fill this out form out for me? Sure, why not? Oh, okay, so we got some stats here. How strong and healthy. <laughs> this is the form that is filled out. Uh. Let's do. A little bit of strength. Do a little bit of charisma. We'll do one of each of these. Hmm, you were born on the same day as my son. Is that what that determined? There's only a 1 in 3 to subscribe chance, not much of a coincidence. Wow, you're so negative. Asshole. As I do every day, I left work and went to the bus stop. Gotta catch my bus. Which seat will I get? The bus had even less people that day, just me and an old lady. She wore strange clothes and awkward mix between a gypsy beggar and a mad professor. It seems that your day wasn't very pleasant, boy. You can't say that. I see your future, yes. Your future is promising. Let me read your fortune. Give me a few coins and I will reveal your future. Uh, sure. She looked at my hand and looked at it deeply. Interesting. I see that your life does not make you happy. Your life's not a life of pain and suffering. Your life is rather boring. Yet you seem to have been. Everything is the same. Dot dot dot. Hmm, but in the very fu near future, I see an opportunity that could change everything. Oh, I see. Yes, here. I see that. If you do not accept your destiny, something terrible will happen to you. Very scary indeed, but what is this opportunity to speak of? Okay. The opportunity to make a pact with your inner demon and sell your soul. The soul is the power to alter the fabric of reality. Sell my soul, haha, <laughs> okay, let's say I do this, what do I get in turn? Wisdom, money, fresh fruits. I felt a sense of vertigo and in the blink of an eye everything around me was different. There's some creepy vampire chick. I still was at the bus stop. It was the same place, but I was in a dark twisted version of it. It looked like something created by an artist of macabre taste. Nice. Women and money are among the most common wishes. Concerning the fresh fruits, they also may be arranged. Uh... Who are you? Look at that face. <laughs> uh, what has happened? You're awake. Now you can see a reality that is beyond what meets the eye. Who are you? I'll be your guide. I'm here to advise and comfort. What is this place? This place is exactly the same. What has changed your perception of reality? Did you already answered that. Like, I had to answer all three of those? What's this thing here? I'm just curious. Oh, it's just... My stats. Here are one of the field chosen ones who have the privilege of possessing the power to transform your wishes into reality. This seems too good to be true, indeed, but everything has its right price. What you need to sacrifice to get what you want is your soul. There's no fucking way I would sell my soul for a life of eternal suffering in hell? You silly boy, there's no such thing as eternal suffering. If this pact was as unfair as you said, we certainly would not have thousands of people selling their souls throughout history. Upon making this pact, you will be granted access to the powerful mystical being. You will be able to fulfill your wishes. Men are used to calling demons those creatures they consider evil, but this is not the case. He will only give you what you ask. It's up to you to accept the to use the energy of your soul to make wishes. You can make the pact to have access to your demon, and this will not cost you anything. However, if you accept what he offers, you will have to give up part of your soul in exchange for your wish. 
I looked at my hand, realized I was holding a dagger! To make the pact, you have to make a cut in your hand. If you prefer to continue living an empty dollar, then just let the dagger fall. I guess I'll make the cut, I mean... Ooh, a light port. Leaving a scar with a bright blue color in the palm of my hand. I melt the sense of vertigo when the bus stop was back to the wall. The blue line represents your soul. The shorter the line, the less soul you have left. She starved me. I had forgotten about that awful old lady. What happens when my soul line ends? I die. It does not necessarily work like that. I still can't believe that this is all real. Try it out. You do want to know what happens, right? I'll see it was me, no doubt, but it was a different version of myself. A simpler version, more binary, made a wrong desire. Your reflection will be your channel of communication between you and your inner demon. Wow! Okay. For 1% of your soul, I can make the bus arrive early. I was frightened to see that sort of version of my reflection charging a part of my soul. Something so trivial. So what is your answer? Nah. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my soul making the bus come early. Why do I give a shit about that? She's not even at the bus stop. She needs me. She walked away and I stayed there waiting for the bus to arrive. That night, it took me a while to sleep. I was thinking about everything that happened that day. What have I done? One day I saw myself in a dark version of reality. I see you made the pact. I can feel the mark on you. How you decide what will be your first wish? Uh, I have some ideas. I'm curious to see what you're going to wish. But do not tell me now. I do not want to spoil the surprise. If I might, I would like to make a small suggestion. It is important to convince and persuade people to do what you want them to do. Have you thought about how it would be to have enough skill with words to turn all people into puppets? For 10% of your soul, I can give you the ability to convince almost everyone. Yes! I only got three? Are you kidding me? Somehow I felt more able to understand people. It seemed easy to push the right buttons to get what I wanted from someone, anybody else. That is much better, isn't it? You'll not regret it. This change will be very handy, believe me. Sorry, I forgot about the voice. I think you should rest and relax. Your life will hardly be as dull as it was before. See you soon. Bye-bye. In a blink of an eye, she was gone, and I was in the real world again. Hey, die hard. Cool. Dot, dot, dot. It was late. I decided to sleep. Chapter 1. Alright, uh, so this is the prelude to the game. If you'd like to see more, leave some likes or some comments if you'd like to see more. If not, you know, you don't have to. And, uh, yeah, so I'll do more if you guys want more. But just let me know, alright? And uh, catch you guys later.